What's up guys, got another treasure hunt for you. We're down here at Pinnacle Access off Lake Norman. It's just right across the street from the, the previous one that we did. But uh, we've got several ramps here. It looks like we've got four ramps, a couple different docks. Uh, if you look over here to the left of the, the docks themselves, there's a series of rocks where people kind of get out, fish, play on. So we're gonna hit those while we're out here, just see what people's dropped off the rocks. But hopefully it's not too busy out here. Hopefully we'll have a good treasure hunt. So come along with us and we'll see what we find. Poster! Poster!
All right, guys, so we just got finished up here at Pinnacle Access. Going to run real quick uh, through some of the stuff. Of course, you can see our trailer tags. We tend to always get a ton of trailer tags. We got an LED light strip here. It's almost like a pole. Uh, it's been flooded. There's actually water inside, so I'm pretty sure it's pretty well done, but pretty cool find. Um, not quite sure if this is a sea do seat or seat off, say, like a, a motocross bike or a motorcycle, something like that. But that was pretty cool find. A couple other boating items. Uh, Plenty of your little transom motor mounts there. You got a couple little earmuffs. If you don't know what an earmuff is, you put it on the out drive of your motor. Uh, and that way you can run your motor out of water and it flushes water through it. Just basically like an earmuff flush. Found a prop here off a trolling motor. Get that thing cleaned up. It's actually in really good shape. It's not cut. It looks like the bolt just spun off of it. Um, if you know much about the company Night Eyes, they make these little tie things that you can anchor stuff up with when you're. Um, camping or anything like that so we got a pair of those nice little rod holder here uh, neat little find here this is a Jung Lee knife it's actually in really good shape it says special forces on it it's got a little it's um just a straight blade here it's got serrated here somebody's actually looks like they put their initials in the knife itself but got a pretty neat little sheath get that thing cleaned up might be a nice hunting knife you know it is deer season now um, Quite a few cell phones over here. We got a seatbelt cutter, some bungee cords, a roller off the boat trailer. The cell phones, at least two of them do have SD cards in them. Got a flip phone here, it's got one. Got a droid or a little LG droid, it's got a uh, SD card. Got another iPhone here, it's got a cute little, looks like a Christmas case on it. Case is gonna be good, of course, iPhone ain't worth much. A couple different tools, got a ratchet set, ball peen hammer. You got a little uh, tackle box here, get that thing cleaned up, be in really good shape. Most of the glasses are not all that. However, we did find three pair that are very interesting. Um, you got a pair of Ray-Bans here. They're in actually really good shape. Just a little bit of scratching on the lens, but everything else appears to be nice on them. Get those cleaned up. Uh, got a pair of Oscar De La Rentes. Now the last pair of Oscars we found were over $400. So I feel pretty comfortable. These are gonna be at least 300. Uh, Ray-Bans, I looked those up. They're around the 150, 160 mark. Got a couple other pairs. I uh, believe these are cheap old Booyah Bait Company glasses, but they're actually in really good shape. Get them cleaned up, be some cheap pair of glasses. Um, got a couple other, uh, unsure the name uh, or what they are, but we'll get those cleaned up. There's another pair laying here that's a pair of camo glasses. These right here. These are a pair of Macs like we sell at our shop, but they're solid camo, so I'll get them cleaned up. In the event that I can't get the lenses clean, I've got a pair of lenses I'll snap in there. And since they're camouflage and it is deer season here in North Carolina, these will be my hunting glasses this year. Got a couple pair of female glasses here. I'm not sure what these are. We couldn't find a name or a logo on these, but they're actually in really good shape. Some type of aviator glasses, we'll get those cleaned up. Of course, the Altoid can. We talked about the, uh, the trailer tags, but yeah. All in all, really good finds here at Pinnacle Access. Can't complain. Good pair of Oscar De La Rentes, good pair of Ray-Bans. But, yep, another good treasure hunt. I really appreciate you coming along on this dive with us. If you got any questions, simply put it down in the comment section below. If you want to do a dive like this, give us a call or come see us at the shop, and we'll take you on a treasure hunt. Guys, I appreciate you watching the video. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.